If you are looking for an Asian influence Christmas food ideas, this is the video for you. Christmas is stressful, so this dish can be made in advance, and I can guarantee you it is not only delicious and it's so easy to make. If you want to shake leg and relax on Christmas Day, this is the recipe for you. I noticed during Christmas, people like to eat a lot of sausages. So, sausages is actually not a very healthy food, unfortunately. This is a Teochew cuisine. In Teochew, it's called Ngo Hiang. Ngo Hiang is very commonly found on the buffet table in Singapore. This is how it looks like. If you don't eat pork, you can replace this with chicken. And if you are a vegetarian, you can also replace it with tofu. How wonderful is that, right? Let me go to the kitchen and show you step by step how to make this pork roll effortlessly. Let's go. These are the ingredients we need to make this authentic meat roll. If you have difficulties in finding the product, I'm going to include the link so you could order them on my Amazon store. And of course, a written recipe is at the video description too. Make sure you check it out. The ingredients may look a lot, but the preparation is actually quite easy. All you need is a food processor like this. Dump all the ingredients that I mentioned in my recipe and just grind them until it is not fully fine but slightly costly. I want to be able to feel the chunkiness of the shrimp, so I decided to put them lastly. I prefer to eat them this way, but if you prefer a more finer texture, by all means go ahead. I find that it's much easier to use a food processor when it comes to fine chopping. If you don't have a food processor, you can take out the parang to. If your meat has been grind, just add it onto the mixture and add the rest of the ingredients. When cooking for a sweet, I always like to add one extra teaspoon of salt because they like it salty. And here are the most important ingredients, the 5 spice and the fish powder. This fish powder is used in many Asian food and I found them online. In with an egg and we gotta bind everything together until you become a very smooth texture. You need this to glue the sheets. I was so happy when I found this at the Asian store. I've been searching for it for ages. This soybean sheets seems to be of a good quality. It's soft and easy to manage. Now I just need to cut them into squares. Now, you need a gentle hand to unfold some parts of the soybean skin. If the sheet is dry, you can use a wet cloth to moist it. I think that way it works much easier. Now, put in the fillings and roll like you roll with a spring roll. Make sure there is no air bubble trapped between the meat. You need to be quite firm and yet gentle while doing this. Make sure you apply the glue tolerate on the openings and gently press the meat so that it reaches the corner. If you have a broken skin, don't worry, use another skin and just replace them so you will not have an opening. See, one quick fix instead of throwing the whole skin. Make sure you don't put the meat roll too close to each other when steaming as it might stick to each other. Now, you want to steam this for at least 10 minutes before you remove them. And for cooling, give it another 20 minutes. I'm using rice flour to coat the surface so you can achieve this crispiness. How you want to fry them is up to you, but I'll show you both ways. This is the first method. Cutting the meat roll into smaller pieces and then roll them with the rice flour. By doing this, you get the crispy all surfaces when you deep fry them using this method. If you want an easier way out, maybe more healthier, you can fry the whole meat roll at one piece. Make sure you dust 
the rice flour evenly. Next, you want to fry them in quite a medium high heat for at least 3 minutes on each side. If you want to save oil, you can fry everything all at once. This fried meat roll can be frozen easily. Now, let's fry the smaller individual pieces. Make sure you let this opening sit on under the pan, otherwise it will be open up like some of them you see in the pan. Oh my god, this smells so good and it's so crispy and delicious. In Singapore, we like to eat this for breakfast with the fried bihun. But if you eat them on a Christmas buffet table, you can serve this with a cold potato salad. And do you want to know how crispy this is? Listen. Is this crispy enough? I'm going to freeze the remaining meat rolls in the freezer, take it out, defrost it, and serve it to my guests who visit me for Christmas. One dish down, four dish to go. Now I can shake Lick Liao. Do you know that the sweet love to eat pork ribs during Christmas? Now I'm going to inspire them and you if you ever consider doing something different. And I can guarantee you that you will be so surprised the kind of ingredients that I use in this recipe. I made this on a trial, on a test recipe. LG, he just love it. He told me those stuff here he's eating taste like meat, but it wasn't. And he couldn't believe what I told him it was made of. And most importantly, this dish can also be made in advance so you can shake more leg on Christmas Day. And is he enjoying his food? It's for you to tell. We have started shopping for Christmas food, so I cannot wait to share with you more recipes. I hope you check out on my Christmas recipe playlist. And when you subscribe, don't forget to put the notification bell on because sometimes you may just caught me going live stream on random time. If you like salmon, i probably be doing one recipe on salmon too. Make sure you stay tuned. Your thumbs up will be very useful in helping this channel to grow. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next. Bye bye! A teochew. This is actually this is a teochew cuisine. So, oops. <laughs>